Now we're going to say our prayer of intercession. Oh, Father God, we come before you this morning with empty hands, knowing that we have nothing to offer you, but that you have everything to give us, Lord. Just thank you for your amazing love and that we have salvation and a hope for a future secure like Jesus' death on the cross. Thank you so much, Lord, for all you've done for us. Thank you that you are with us by your spirit through all our days. And we know that we can, we can do anything because we have you by our side, Lord. I pray that during this time and this service today, we can meet with you and get to know your character more, Lord. I pray right now for our situation during this COVID pandemic, Lord, as we in the UK are going into a second wave, I pray for key workers and those doctors and nurses and healthcare workers, Lord, um, responding on the front line to all that's happening and all the, the daily changes with this pandemic, Lord. I pray you'll give them strength and I pray that that those in power in the government making policies, pray you'll give them wisdom and guidance with how to proceed and what the safest way to go forward is. Lord, I just give up our situation with this pandemic up to you, Lord. Pray that you will help us through this next stage of it and that, yeah, we can, we can keep safe and we can keep others safe as well, Lord. I also pray further afield for um, yeah, refugees right now in Greece, people who are displaced. They've, they don't have their home countries to st to safe to stay in, Lord, nor are they safe in these refugee camps. Um, I pray right now that you will just help those who are having to move right now in Greece I pray that you'll give them a, a shelter and, yeah, that you will help the governments of whichever countries they will be going to um, find resources for these refugees and be able to support them and help them through a difficult time when they are um, seeking asylum in different places, Lord, um, but even more difficult during this pandemic. I pray that you will just be there in these situations and yeah help these refugees know your presence with them lord and that yeah that you will keep them safe and um, i pray also for our universities here in glasgow especially as they're opening up for new students and returning students as well i pray that you'll be with those who are making the the guidelines and and um, yeah deciding the best and safe, safest way to proceed with um, university studies. I pray that you can just yeah, help new students feel at ease coming into this situation and um, returning students feel that they, they can still enjoy their university lives, even though it's so different from what they're used to. Um, I pray especially for new students who are coming from outside of Scotland and the UK that they will feel settled in Glasgow and that they will have chances to meet people and make new friends um, as they've moved to a new country and started a new uh, yeah, new journey in their life studying at Glasgow. Um, I also pray for those who graduated or who've just graduated this past year, Lord, as it's so difficult for them to find jobs during this time and especially those international students who may have to go home to their home countries if they don't find a job here in the UK. I pray you will just be uh, providing the right opportunities for those searching for jobs, that um, yeah, you your plan for them can be known so they can be um, at peace, but also yeah, that they can have uh, the chance to stay here if that's your will, Lord. Um, I just give all of these prayers up to you, knowing that, yeah, there is nothing that we can do on our own strength. 
but um, we know all more during these hard times how much we need you, Lord, and how much, how much you have to offer us and how much you can help us, Lord. So I pray that we can just keep our eyes fixed on you today and, yeah, that your, your spirit will be with us. Pray that you bless this service and those who have contributed to it. And Father God, may we meet with you today and feel your presence with us, even though we may not be together in person with the rest of the church family. I pray that you will be uniting us by your spirit, Lord. Pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen.